In 1933, 33rd degree Freemason Franklin D. Roosevelt added the Great Seal to the U.S. dollar, transforming it into an occult talisman. The same year, he signed a gold confiscation order and took the U.S. off the gold standard. At a press conference on March 8, 1933, he joked, As long as nobody asks me whether we are off the gold standard, that's all right, because nobody knows what the gold standard really is. David Icke wrote, The 33rd degree Freemason and black nobility president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, had this symbol printed on the dollar bill from 1933. It was a symbol of secret societies in Europe, long before anyone heard of the United States, and it is awash with Freemasonic and secret society symbolism going back to the ancient world. Notice the symbology and numerology used on the dollar bill. The most obvious symbol is the Illuminati pyramid, with the hovering, all-seeing eye in the capstone. Opposite this is the All-American Eagle, with a downturned U.S. flag afront its chest. These and many other symbols on the dollar come from the ancient stellar, solar, and lunar cults. Michael Tessarian wrote, The pyramid is for the stellar cult, as are the various stars that appear on the bill. The golden eagle is for the solar cult. The eagle is the symbol of America because it signifies the constellation in Scorpio called Achaea. Scorpio is the sign of power, money, and wealth, as well as secret knowledge. The U.S. elections are held right in the middle of Scorpio, and the birthday of America is in the Scorpionic Decanate of Cancer. The color green also relates to the solar cult. The number 13, which appears frequently on the dollar bill, stands for the lunar cult. There are 13 months in the lunar year. America originally had 13 states. London is made up of 28 boroughs, this being the number of lunar mansions. Thirteen is also a stellar cult numeral, much used by the Israelites and other Semitic tribes and nations. Then there are the watermarks, or moon letters, for the lunar cults. The double-headed eagle symbol, which came from Babylon and survived through the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, has been today adopted by America, Mexico, Israel, Germany, France, Chile, Italy, Honduras, and many others. David Icke wrote, the eagle is a widely used brotherhood symbol, and it can be found on the coats of arms of many countries, including Egypt, Libya, and Iraq. It was a major symbol for Germany, and it appears in the designs of pulpits and lecterns used by the Christian Church. Seals like the one used on the Great Seal of the United States can be traced back to at least 4000 BC in Egypt, Babylon, Assyria, and India. The word money comes from the lunar cults. Early words for the moon were mon and min, giving us mani, printed at a mint. We have a worldwide monarchy that controls the world's money supply. We have finance ministers, prime ministers, and their ministries being controlled by occult elites and societies. Monks perform monthly ceremonies in monasteries. It is interesting to note that the plant mint is green, our money printed at the mint is green, and the Isis moon goddess Statue of Liberty is also green. Someone who is ignorant is green. Moon lovers are lunatics. From the French, they are monsters. You can see how the elite esoterically worship the moon, continuing the lunar cult, while exoterically condemning and marginalizing it. Jordan Maxwell wrote, You will see beneath the pyramid, 1776, spelled out in Roman numerals, plus the words Anuit Coeptus, and is translated as Anuit, our enterprise. Coeptus is translated to mean crowned with success, or is crowned with success. Therefore, Anuit Coeptus is our enterprise, which is now a success. Then, in order to find out what enterprise was a success, read on the $1 bill at the bottom of the pyramid, Novos Ordo Seclorum, which translates as the New Order of the World, the New World Order. The Latin translation of Anuit Coeptis Novos Ordo Seclorum is, Our New World Order is crowned with success.
The other Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, means one out of many, order out of chaos. The Hegelian dialectic, the problem-reaction-solution paradigm used by the elites to drive world events, opinions, and policies. There are thirteen letters in Enuit Coeptis, and thirteen letters in E Pluribus Unum. The dollar encodes the number thirteen repeatedly. There are thirteen stars above the eagle's head, thirteen steps on the pyramid, thirteen vertical bars on the shield, thirteen horizontal stripes at the top of the shield, thirteen leaves on the olive branch, thirteen arrows, thirteen fruits, and thirteen numbers. If you draw a six-sided Star of David hexagram around the pyramid on the back of the dollar, five of the six corners will point to letters A-S-M-O-N, or when you rearrange them, M-A-S-O-N. Jordan Maxwell wrote, You will find on the dollar bill the eagle, which comes from the ancient concept of the phoenix and has thirteen stars above it. The thirteen stars are arranged in the configuration of the Star of David, or the hexagram. Most people think the thirteen stars represent the original thirteen colonies. In the first place, why did they have to have thirteen colonies? Why couldn't they have twenty-seven, or four, or ten? When one understands that the number thirteen is a very important, profound Masonic number, and that many of the founding fathers of this country were Freemasons, as well as Rosicrucians, then you will follow this connecting thread of material to see what was actually being created. They knew what they were doing when they divided this country into thirteen colonies. The number thirteen is not an unlucky number for them. It's an unlucky number for you.